Welcome again friends. In my earlier video, I have explained about BLAST or Basic Local Alignment Search Tool, its types and important features for result analysis. We performed BLAST N with an example and analyzed its results. If you have not seen it, please check it out at the link given below. Please like and subscribe to my channel to motivate me to create more interesting videos. You may also suggest me a topic in bioinformatics which you would like me to uh, make you understand through my video. Today we will use an example of protein sequence of human insulin to learn BLAST-P result analysis. BLAST-P takes a protein query sequence which a user like us inputs and compares it with all the sequences present in a protein database which we choose. Plus then presents the result in the form of mathematical score or as graphic. This is the BLAST homepage and we click on BLAST P now. Here we see a form which has got three sections, enter query sequence, choose search set and program selection. Now to get the query sequence which is in our example is going to be human insulin protein, we will search separately for a database called protein in NCBI or you may search SwissProt. Uh, I've shown here the protein database and we choose an appropriate insulin sequence and get the sequence in FASTA format. Now in BLAST-P in the given text box, we can either copy paste the sequence or we can write its accession number or you can even click on run BLAST feature on the links on right hand side. Additionally, if you want to use only a segment of the query sequence, enter the range in the form and two boxes provided here like you want just to search from 30th amino acid till 48th amino acid you can specify it here or if you have saved your protein sequence in a file you can upload uh, the file here you may also wish to assign a job title it's up to you in the choose search set section there is a list of databases by default, it's NR or non-redundant protein sequences database, which is chosen, but you can choose any other database depending on your requirement. Optionally, we may like to choose a particular organism only to be included or excluded. If you don't have any such choice, you can just leave this option as per default. The next section is the program selection. Here we have a few choices and by default, BLAST P protein to protein search algorithm is chosen. If you choose quick BLAST P, it's very fast and should be used only when your query has at least 50% identity with database sequences. The other three BLAST options which are shown here are very specific to match with the pattern or domain etc. and we are not going to discuss them here. We'll usually not change the additional algorithm parameters as well and leave them as default. Now we hit the blast button and it may take few minutes and so be please be very patient and let's see the results. Job title shows the first query sequence ID by default which is AAA59172.1. Here our ID shows the assigned unique identifier to this search and molecule type is amino acid sequence and the query length is 110 amino acid which is the length of our chosen sequence. Under other reports distance tree of results presents the matches in a distance tree format. Here in this phylogenetic analysis the multiple alignment of insulin amino acid sequence from various organisms has been used to create this distance tree. The tree building method is either fast minimum evolution method or a neighbor joining method. By clicking on the internal nodes, you can see a pop-up box coming. This is to uh, get a subtree or you want to see the alignment, then click on links here. Multiple alignment shows insulin sequences from different organisms which are being compared with each other. The positions where the majority of sequences match, the consensus sequences are shown in colored in gray, whereas the position where there is a, a lot of mismatches are shown uh, in red color. 
Multiple Sequence Alignment Viewer or MSA Viewer is a graphical display for the multiple alignments of nucleotide and protein sequences. Now coming to description section, under description tab, there is a summary table of hits found in BLAST uh, by BLAST which has a few columns. The details about these columns and the type of values displayed in them I have already explained in my earlier BLAST video and little bit I will explain here as well and is very similar for BLAST B. So here I just explained the results we obtained for insulin query sequence. For the first few results the percentage identity is 100%. That means there are no mismatches and gaps between the query sequence and the database or subject sequence as we call it. This can also be checked by choosing these sequences and by clicking on alignment tab. As you can see here, they show a perfect match and a 100% identity. Going back to description table, all the max scores are same as total scores. This means that human insulin sequence was aligned only once with other insulin sequences in the database and scores were calculated. Are you confused? Let me tell you. The max scores come from the biggest alignment and the total scores are addition of max scores with any other smaller but significant alignment between the same pair of sequences as you can see here in this animation. Another important column is E value which simply tells us whether the alignment happened by chance. Lower the E value or the closer it is to zero the more significant the match is. Here the E value for us ranges from 10 raised to the power minus 74 till 10, to 10 raised to the power minus 43 which shows that all the alignment with human insulin query sequence presented here are significant and genuine. Moving to graphical summary, we see the statement putative conserved domains have been detected. Domains are the discrete parts of a protein with independent function and they can be said as conserved when all insulin family sequences show them. By clicking on the image below for detailed result, we see this picture showing IIGF insulin-like or IIGF domain in members of IIGF superfamily. The green arrow here indicates the span of domain in insulin sequence. So insulin we, which we have chosen as a query sequence belongs to this superfamily. Moving ahead, distribution of the top 100 blast hits on 100 subject sequences shows all graphics in pink color bars. As the max scores were below 200 and between 80 to 200 range, the length of each bar represents the query cover whose values are given in description table. Coming to the alignment section, it contains the detailed pairwise alignments between query and database sequences. A mini tab at the top contains the alignment statistics. As you can see, these are showing us 100% identity and no gaps. There is also a middle line which reports the quality of the match. If there is an amino acid single letter, it is identical match between query and database sequence. If it is a plus sign, it is a positive match considering it as conservative substitution between two amino acids which have similar physico-chemical properties. In simple meaning, uh, words, it means that two amino acids are very similar in properties and can substitute each other. Whereas the white space is a mismatch with zero or negative score. Dashes in the sequence are gaps. Related information link on right hand side are links to other resources with additional information a user may, would, uh, may want to see. Last tab is taxonomy. It gets us the classification details of the organism whose sequences have been chosen by BLAST for result display. So this was the tutorial on understanding BLAST B result. As a beginner, thanks for watching and hope you liked it. In our next video, we will learn about how BLAST calculates max score and gap score using formula and for both nucleotide and protein sequences using matrices. Till then, thank you. Do take care.